Father, we give you praise. Thank you for your sweet presence here tonight. Thank you for all your servants and minstrels that have mounted this altar. Thank you for the momentum of the Spirit. Thank you for those who have tarried till this moment. You said to me, the forecast is real and the forecast is true. There is really an outpouring for this generation. Lord, we honor you for the privilege to be a part of it, for our eyes will see it. We give you the praise and we give you the glory. Blessed be your name. For it is in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Those who have truly tarried till 9.36 p.m. tonight. Would you give the Lord a shout of praise? I thought somebody would shout excitedly, expectantly. I thought your shout would communicate hunger. A louder shout of praise. Please, you may be seated. What a privilege and honor to be here tonight, thanking God for what he's doing through Minister Dunsi Oyeko and the entire outpouring team and all the men of God and the ministers that have ministered tonight. But I have good news. Someone will live here truly drenched in the rain. Did I hear a hungry amen? Wow. Very simple task tonight. For the few minutes that we have. Five things to note. To be a part of the outpouring. And I'll be sharing on that in just about ten minutes. And then my session will be over. Number one thing to note about the outpouring. Is that it is a work of the Holy Ghost. Every single outpouring is a work of the Holy Ghost. Acts chapter 1 at verse 8. Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. You shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And you shall be witnesses both unto me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Every outpouring is not man-made. If it's a true outpouring, it is the work of the Holy Ghost. And since 4 p.m. tonight, the Holy Ghost has been on duty. I'm glad to announce to somebody who is still here at this moment, you will not live here the same way you came. Every outpouring is a work of the Holy Ghost. If ye been evil, know how to give good gifts to your children. How much more 
shall he give the Holy Ghost to them which ask him. Luke's Gospel chapter 11 verse 13. So number one, every outpouring is a work of the Holy Ghost. Will you lift up your hands and as you do, you just may be the next one to be touched. May you be truly visited tonight. I thought somebody who came here for an outpouring would shout a loud amen. Number two, every outpouring is or goes through a process of traveling. Every single outpouring, scripturally and historically, goes through a process of travail. I love the scripture that my brother, we didn't talk about it, Theophilus Sunday used. That was the scripture the Lord gave. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 7 and 8. Shall a nation be born at once? But as soon as Zion traveled, she brought forth her children. Look at that. Before she traveled, she brought forth. Before her pain came, she was delivered of a man child. Who has heard of such a thing? Who has seen such a thing? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day or a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion traveled, she brought forth. Lift your hands. In just the moment we had of that intense intercession and worship, several mantles came upon individuals. And I tell you from tonight, the struggle on your prayer altar is declared over. Every outpouring follows a process of travail. Number three, every outpouring places a demand of tarrying. Those who will be part of any outpouring cannot get it quick. There is the place of tarrying. Luke's Gospel chapter 24 and verse 49. Luke's Gospel chapter 24 verse 49. He said, Behold, I send the promise of my father upon you, but tarry in the city of Jerusalem until you be endued with power from on high. The outpouring will require a tarry. And it takes grace to tarry. It takes grace to stay. That's what it means. Minister Dunsi has a powerful song on that. I will stay at the altar. And then another one, leave me at the altar with my father. It takes a process of tarrying. Some of us tonight, after the outpouring, prayer will begin and not be able to end. I thought I'm talking to hungry people here tonight. It takes some degree of hunger to still be here. I said something is coming upon someone that will make it easy for you to tarry. It is only those that tarry, carry. To carry, it takes a tarry. When you see individuals carrying some strange generational mantles, it's because they have spent time tarrying. Lift up your hands. There are people who need that grace here tonight. I need, it. I need a lot of it myself. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For everyone who so desires. Grace to tarry. In order to see the outpouring. In the name of Jesus. It is released upon us. Let me hear the loudest. Amen. Amen. Number four. To see any outpouring. It will take a requirement of unity. I checked through the Acts of the Apostles before that massive outpouring. Acts chapter 1 verse 14. If you have it, let's place it on the screen. Acts 1 14. It says, this all continued in one accord. In prayer and supplication with the women also. And Mary the mother of Jesus and with his brethren. Prayer is great. Intercession is great. Travail is great. But hearing is a secret. They continued all with one accord. 
I tell you, when the church gets into unity, we are set for a massive outpouring. Unity of the body. Unity of the saints of God. Bringing down the walls of religion. Bringing down the barriers of denominations. And that's what the outpouring is doing. All denominations represented. It is required for an outpouring. They remained in one accord. And then in Acts chapter 2 verse 1. Acts chapter 2 verse 1. When the day of Pentecost was fully come. Look at that again. They were all with one. Let me hear you scream it. They were all with one. Can I hear you scream accord? That means there was unity. And so that created a platform for the outpouring. And finally, number five, to be a part of this end time forecast of outpouring that is real, genuine, and true, and already taking place. Number five, which is most important, we need a hunger. My dear friend, Lawrence Oyo started with that. Hunger. We need a hunger. It is only those that thirst that are permitted to be filled. In Acts, in Psalms chapter 63, please, Psalms chapter 63, verse 1 to 3, we end with that scripture and then we rise to pray. Oh God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. My soul thirsted for thee, and my flesh longed for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. Verse 2 it says, To see thy power and thy glory as I've seen thee in the sanctuary. A hunger, a thirst. That is a currency of the Spirit. Only hungry men. Can partake of the outpouring. We need a hunger. We need a thirst. Five things tonight. The Lord has shown to us. Every outpouring one. Is a work of the Holy Spirit. Two. It follows a process of traveling. Three. It has a demand of tarrying. Four. It places a requirement of unity. And five. It demands hunger. Are there hungry people here? Our generation is not wasted. This generation will see the glory of God. Will you rise on your feet, every hungry person right now? And if you have something you can play, that's right. Lift up your voice. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Come on. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. There is a reserve for you. You waited this long. Come on. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Rata pakete menekete shala barakata da balaya. Lera da bala ba 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 ba. Nekoteti se sa sa taya. Are there hungry people here tonight? Are there people that tarried intentionally tonight? Come on, raise your voice. Raise your voice. Lift your voice. We are praying in the Holy Ghost. Come on. Hey. Oh, Thank you for the outpouring. Come on, it's a work of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost has not retired. He's still here. He's still moving. Come on, lift your voice. 30 more seconds. Come on. You have been pressing. You have been pressing. Press through some more. Hey. Hey. Is someone present through at all? Come on. Come on. Come on. His presence is thick. 
Out of my belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living waters. <laughs> Out of my belly shall flow.